Oh my gosh. Feel free to go it. Oh my gosh. Feel free. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and feel free. Oh my gosh. A lot of you guys know about Knob Hill and downtown Albuquerque, but not a lot of you know about some of the best kept secrets that we have here in Albuquerque. And in some of these areas that I'm gonna be talking about today, they have tree-lined neighborhoods, tucked away open spaces, and really these places are so unique that they have their own charm. So in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through some of these top neighborhoods that we have been talking to our clients about when it comes down to moving here in Albuquerque. So grab your pen and your pad, let's get into today's video. One of the areas that I'm bringing up first is an area that I've talked about quite a few in some of our older videos, and that's El Toro Park. Why do I like to talk about El Toro Park? Well, not only is it one of the most historical areas when it comes down to like the modern age in Albuquerque because of all the mid-century modern homes that they have out there, all the custom builds and all that stuff, but just that area alone, being super close to Knob Hill offers a ton of value to a lot of people, right? You have all the different amenities that you're gonna see around there, like Whole Foods. You're gonna have Knob Hill that has all the bougie and fancy restaurants, and of course, some local eats like TVs that pretty much feels like a house when you're going to eat there, guys. And the food there is super awesome, although that I don't think it's called TVs anymore, so forgive me, I don't know the actual name. It's still kind of around the same name. They changed it up just a little bit, went under new ownership, but still same great food. But besides all the good local eats, you still have some good coffee shops around there. Humble Coffee is right down the street from there on Lomas, and it is a pretty cool place to go and hang out at. Now, who is this area good for? Why mid-century modern? Well, a lot of professional doctors, lawyers, and people who work at UNM and at the hospitals live in this area just because it's close enough to them to where they can ride their bikes, right? A lot of these professionals, they don't like to drive their cars, they like to ride their bikes to work, which is pretty cool, but at the same time weird. Um, I don't know, it's all preference. But either way, guys, this area, if you are looking for a house that is a little bit more on the uniqueness, you like some vintage stuff, you like that mid-century modern feel, or you just want to be able to take a house that is architecturally pretty much art and make it your own, you might want to look into these areas, although you may pay a pretty price tag. We actually got pretty lucky with one of our clients. We found them a great home in El Toro Park for under $350,000, and this house sits on a double lot. And in this area, believe it or not, guys, the peace and quiet that you guys get being centrally located in the middle of the city. Maybe it's the demographics of professionals like doctors and lawyers who don't make a whole crazy fuss. Maybe it's the demographic of people that live in this area, right? Not a whole bunch of little kids. There are gonna be adults mainly in this area who are established or who have lived in this area forever. So you can expect that just the peace and quiet is gonna be a little bit more realistic. We went to our client's housewarming party on a Saturday evening and we hung out all night and pretty much stopped and said, you don't hear any cars, that's pretty crazy. So awesome to see you guys. And uh, if you're interested in that, this might be a good area for you. And if this is your first time tuning into the Living in Albuquerque channel, guys, welcome. Do yourself a huge favor and hit that subscribe and notification bell down at the bottom. That way you guys never miss out on any kind of videos because we are dropping videos every week talking about what living here in Albuquerque is like and all of the cool spots that you guys get to enjoy once you live here. And my name is Eli and aside from doing these great videos for you guys bringing you all this information, I am also a licensed broker here in the state of New Mexico and as much as I love doing this, I would love to help you out with your real estate needs. So that number popping up in the screen is my direct line. Feel free to call or text at any time because I'd love to help you guys out. And I am the one that answers all the calls, texts, and emails. So if you guys are interested in moving down to Albuquerque within the next couple of months, I'd love to make sure that you guys get all the right information. And if you go down in the description, guys, I created a free local area guide that you guys can download for free. So if you guys are interested in that as well, go ahead and download that guide. This next area, guys, is a special one to me because I am a big outdoor enthusiast. Although that I probably won't ever live on this side of town because it's far away from my family over here on the you know southwest side and the west side. If I ever got the chance to, I would definitely move to the foothills. Here's a couple reasons why. The foothills is tucked away inside of the mountain basin. Your access to outdoor trails, whether it's biking or hiking, or you just love being outdoors is gonna be super easy for you guys to do. Especially if you work a nine to five and you just wanna come home to your own oasis that you can relax to 
this side of town is going to be able to offer that. So a couple other things that you can expect. Yes, you are tucked away in the mountains, but you're still going to have access to all the amenities that you could possibly want. Costco's, Walmart, Smith's, Albertsons, and anything else that you can think of is pretty much going to be 15 to 20 minutes down the road from you guys. And there isn't really any freeway access you have access to tramway and paseo which is going to be one of the major ways that you can navigate through this side of town on or if you go down tramway all the way to the freeway of course now what can you expect in the homes in this area well there's a ton of custom built houses out there more southwest style than anything else and a crazy ordinance that they have on this side just so you're aware is that you cannot have any bright lights there's no street lights on this side of town because they don't want to obstruct from the city light views or any kind of views that they have out there, right? Because when you are living on the east side, pretty much at the basin, you're sitting a little bit higher. So your view of the city, even at night or even during the day is gonna be pretty freaking cool to experience. Now, if you are somebody that gets captivated by these sunsets that we have here in New Mexico, living in the foothills is gonna provide so much picture opportunities for you guys. So. If that's what you're into, the outdoors, picturesque moments, or you just like being pretty close to nature, the foothills may be an area for you. So we're trekking all the way back down to a central location on this next area. The North Valley is an area that offers so much history and so much of what Albuquerque is to its core, right? From horse properties, farms, vineyards, and easy access to Old Town. How could you not want to live in this area? This next area is often overlooked, guys. And it's getting a little cold out here. Middle of October, starting to finally feel like fall. But being that this area is super close to where I live, it gets overlooked all the time. I don't know why. It's a great place to be. And some of the houses there give you that all American kind of like, I don't know, East Coast vibe with the brick and all that stuff. And that's Taylor Ranch. Taylor Ranch is such an awesome place to be, guys. And the houses are a little bit older. They're built around like the 70s and the 80s. So you aren't gonna have like a whole ton of vaulted ceilings, mid-century moderns or anything like that. It's gonna be kind of like your basic all-American home, uh, like I said. So um, really confined spaces, really partitioned off, like dining, formal dining areas, living rooms and kitchens and all that stuff. But I mean, I guess if you got the funds for it, you want to customize it yourself, you can open the spaces up. And one of the reasons why it gets overlooked and a lot of people forget that this side of town has probably better views than what the Foothills area has because you have views of the city, views of the mountains, and views of the sunset. So you get the trifecta living in Taylor Ranch in some areas. So I don't know, maybe you're not into the whole like being tucked away in the base of the mountains, you want, don't wanna deal with a whole lot of snow. Taylor Ranch may be an area for you where you still get all those benefits because the access to trails and some of the amenities like Mariposa Park, you got the petroglyphs right next door to you, may be something that suffices all of that and really satisfies that, that craving for being in the outdoors and still having all the urban amenities around you because you have like sprouts, beyonds and the whole kind of like montano shopping center down by taylor ranch which is super easy to access off of montano now who are these neighborhoods for well really honestly like any other neighborhood in albuquerque it's for pro young professionals families that are looking for more of an affordable home with family friendly neighborhoods looking for an area that has some family friendly neighborhoods some amenities right all the shopping that you can need and also in a great school district, the Volcano Vista School District is one of the top rated school districts in our state. So very awesome to see that that side of town is starting to get more recognition. A lot of people are starting to realize the value that Taylor Ranch actually offers and they're actually putting a lot more amenities in that area. So if you are planning on moving to Taylor Ranch, like the West Side, which we will talk about in this video, is starting to get a facelift and starting to actually grow a little bit more. Now, bonus tip guys, when it comes to purchasing a house here in Taylor Ranch, they are usually priced lower than some of the other suburban areas in Albuquerque, believe it or not. So don't totally shy away from looking in Taylor Ranch. Yes, it's a little bit older, but they might be in the affordable price range category when you are talking about living here. Piggybacking off of Taylor Ranch, the west side of Albuquerque where the Cibola School District is, 
offers a ton of value to people too, not only because it's super easy to access Real Rancho here, and actually our video editor can kind of tell you about this, but all the different amenities that this side of town offers, especially with the new build communities that they're starting to put on that side, is an area to look forward to because it's growing and it's growing fast. Like all the different restaurants that just went up over there, like the Chicken Salad Chick, which my wife drives me crazy over. She makes me drive 20 minutes just to go and get her chicken salad. Like chicken salad is not God's gift to earth. Although Slint's chickens, the chicken and waffles, may be a different story guys. But if you are working for like Russ Medical Center, Intel and you know, there's other places that could employ you down there like Costco and all the different restaurants Target You may want to start looking into moving to the west side of Albuquerque because it used to be an area that was You know a little bit secluded kind of like an area of an, uh, on its own and really not talked about Almost kind of like a hush-hush because not a lot of people lived out there and it was just all dirt at some point but within the past 10 years, I think they've really started to grow and expand and it's exciting to see all that they offer. Now, who is moving to this side of town? Really kind of those people that are looking for a bigger space, some of the newer home developments out there, the homes really range from anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 plus square feet, four bedrooms. So they offer all these different amenities as well. You wanna live close to the Rust Medical Center because if you have a kid that was like me growing up, skateboarding and always hurting themselves then, being close to the ER is gonna be somewhat of a value to you. A couple other things to look forward to, and not a lot of people really think about this, but living on the west side, it actually connects you to the northeast side pretty well, right? You have Paseo, Alameda, and of course, Tramway. That connects the west side pretty well to the northeast side, so you're not gonna have to deal with that traffic on I-40 and I-25 a whole lot, unless you do have to travel to our side of town over here closer to the Southwest. And a bonus tip that I can give to you guys, yes, they are building homes on our side in Albuquerque, but really, McMahon is really what separates Albuquerque and Rio Rancho. It's like the last main street before you actually get into Rio Rancho. It's not gonna cost you any much more of a drive if you look into some of those newer developments up there that DR Horton and Pulte, and I believe Westway Homes is building up there next to the Slim's Chickens that is like five minutes down the road from Russ Medical Center. So a little bit more of a bigger price tag, you're looking around $450,000 and half a million up, but with all the growth and amenities that people are experiencing and all the beautiful custom built homes that people have built out there, you're gonna find it pretty interesting that living in that area there may provide a ton of value to you. So we talked about a ton of great areas in this video, guys. And of course, there's a ton more that I can talk about. And I'll talk about those areas in future videos. But for the sake of this video, just really touching on some of those that don't get a whole lot of recognition, right? I talk about them, but when you look them up, there's not a whole lot of information out there. So we talked about places that have peaceful areas, tucked away parks, growing areas for families, or just affordable areas for families that you would have never even thought of looking into when you moved down here. So if you are planning on moving down to Albuquerque and you're wanting to know a little bit more about these areas, as I get more talkative with my hands, I got one hand in my pocket because it's actually pretty cold out here right now and the sun is starting to come up. I think it's like 50 degrees. Um, pretty crazy how fall has came a little late, but if you guys are planning on moving down here to Albuquerque within the next couple of months, that number popping up on the screen is my direct line and I'd love to help you out with all your real estate needs. I'd love to get on a quick Zoom call pull up the MLS and take a look at these areas in depth. And if you are not ready to make that commitment to a video call, down in the description is our relocation guide. It is free to download. It gives you a ton of great information about some of these areas here in Albuquerque and some interesting facts when it comes down to living here based off of my knowledge, right? So go ahead and download that. Feel free to reach out. Until next time, guys, I'm gonna go inside, get myself a cup of coffee, second cup of coffee today, um, because it's a little chilly and I'm going to enjoy my time outside. Have a good one. Peace.